Hey guys, Weapon Game Back. Today, bringing a video for our weapon conversion series, and today we're converting the new TR-76 Geist, or in real life is the Maliuk, or the Vulcan, the Ukrainian assault rifle. And today's gonna be a bit of a stretch conversion, and I'll explain that. I don't like to do these too often, but this one uh, I had to do. So we're gonna be converting this into the Blackstorm BS4 AK Bullpup Conversion Kit as best we can. So go ahead, we'll back out, go through the weapon, we'll build it up, show off some images, see how it handles in-game, and the recoil control, all of that. Go ahead and back out. Here's our final design for the Blackstorm BS4 AK Bullpup Conversion Kit. Now, again, like I said, this is definitely a stretch because even with this type of conversion that we're using here, this is still, this is still very much a Maliuk, um, but I'll show you the differences here when we get into it. So, we'll go ahead and strip the, all the attachments. So at base here, we have the TX-76 Geist or the Maliuk, the Ukrainian uh, assault rifle, which we did the conversion on the other day. So go go ahead and check that out on the channel. Um, I'll try and link it down below. Also, you guys can check that, that out for the conversion series. But for this one, what we're gonna do is, for the conversion first off, we're going to want the uh, Fright 40 barrel. This is gonna be the, it has a suppressor attached to it. It's it, not really integrally suppressed. It's an extended handguard with a suppressor on the end of the weapon. So we're gonna use this. It's gonna give a sound suppression, recoil control, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, cons being ADS speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. So we'll go with that. Go ahead and attach that. And you guys can tune this again however you would like. We're gonna skip out on the laser for the optic. Again, you can run really, a lot of optics that we see being run are different types of like EOTAX, uh, different types of red dots, things like that. Um, for this one, we're gonna be running the, we're gonna run an Alcan on this particular build, just cause I've seen some uh, out there in the wild in, in Ukraine with Alcan or Alcan clones, Alcan clones. So we'll go ahead and put that on there and we'll go ahead and tune that slightly. For the buttstock option, we're gonna go ahead and run the uh, Scout LD stock pad. This is because this give, give us aiming stability, but also for the real life conversion, it does have like a big uh, buttstock on it for the pad um, and the real life conversion. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the comb, we're also gonna throw uh, any one of these combs kind of works, but I'm gonna go with the taper comb. Gonna give us aiming stability and recoil control. Just again, kind of gives us more something along the lines of the real life build as close as we can get. Rear grip will actually leave the same. Magazine will stay with the 30 round 762 by 39 millimeter. Ammunition we're gonna keep at base. And the underbarrel we're gonna go with um, the FTAC Ripper. This is what the majority of the BS4s come with is some sort of angle foregrip, particularly this one here in real life you see on the Blackstorm website. Like they're all, they're all pretty much being shipped with this. So we'll go ahead and select that. You guys can tune that again however you would like. And this is our Blackstorm BS4 AK conversion kit. Now, the differences it are here, I'll show the real life version here on screen and then you'll be able to go through the differences. Uh, again, it's a really nice conversion. This is a Ukrainian bullpup conversion. They've been playing around with converting their surplus of AKs for years. And this is, this is one of the more prominent ones um, outside of the Maliuk weapon for an actual conversion kit. Because Maliuk really started with the Vulcan um, different types of conversion kits, and then now we have the Maliuk, but in the Blackstorm AK conversion kit is another viable uh, conversion. However, that's an actual conversion kit, where here the Maliuk is is its own bullpup designed weapon from an AK receiver. But at the heart, they're both the same weapon, just the chassis systems are different. So here the differences are, you can see on this weapon, with the Blackstorm 4, which is kind of what we're up looking here. You can have a left-hand charger handle like we see here. Um, the differences would be that the, we see here we have basically the key mod type handguard there in the front where the suppressor is that extended barrel. That would be pretty much all the way down the side to the pistol grip. We wouldn't have this handguard there um, covering the pistol grip. So it would just be an open pistol grip. Uh, you wouldn't have that handguard there. You would also have more of a bear type magwell. However, the magwell with a conversion kit can be uh, adjusted. You can put on wider um, magazine well to make reloading easier. And uh, again, you would just have different different types of accessory rails because it is an actual conversion kit. Whereas here, the Malik is essentially an AK uh, with a whole new chassis built around it. Whereas the conversion kit with the Blackstorm 4 is just that. It's just a conversion kit that you would do yourself. So. 
those are really the main differences. Um, also here on the Melody, you see we have we have a uh, more modern Melody that they put here in game. So uh, on the actual Blackstorm 4, you would still have the AK, uh, you receiver there, you can see the select fires on the left and right, which is Ambi here. You would have um, the old AK select fire. So if I just back out really fast, see if we have an AK somewhere we do. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So at base, this is still the it's still the same receiver. Um, this is just obviously a, a 74 versus the versus the 762 version. But this is the same receiver you're seeing in that weapon, essentially just different caliber. So the select fire option you see here is what would still be on that. And all it is is removing the buttstock from this, removing the uh, removing the pistol grip, bringing the pistol grip kind of up more where we see the uh, grip here on this weapon and what that trigger the pistol grip is reconnected the trigger. They put it in a new trigger, connected back with a wire to this old trigger, and you build that whole chassis around this platform. So the receiver is always going to be the same. Um, that's the difference there is that you can see this is still a stamped receiver, and you see the AK select fires there. So that's what you would still see on the BS4. So those are really the only differences here with that. Um, obviously, the chassis design of the Maliuk and the BS4 is a little bit different. But let's go ahead now. And we'll jump into the uh, firing range so you guys can see this weapon. Again, I like that they put this in here. I believe that's... I don't know if they were doing that as a nod to the Blackstorm kit. Because the handguard is relatively similar. Just not uh, full length, unfortunately. But it still handles pretty well here for this uh, for an Alcan. Especially the Alcans are not the best here in game. But this is actually a pretty good build. So pretty good build there. Let's go ahead now and jump into the gameplay here. And we'll go ahead and go through this. So with the uh, actual length of this weapon, when you the real Blackstorm 4 conversion kit, when you, again, strip down your AK, do the conversion kit yourself, the overall length of the weapon is going to be 27 inches. So you're, you're shorting, the, shortening the weapon overall because you're turning the AK into a bullpup. Uh, the overall weight of the weapon would be 8.5 pounds with an empty magazine. Um, again, that's an AK, the AK receiver with the BS4 conversion kit put on there. Um, it does offer a lot of different ergonomic benefits. Obviously, turning Ukrainians have been trying to really play around with turning their surplus AKs into uh, bullpups for years, and this is this outside of the Maliak, which is built really from the ground up around the receiver for conversion kit. As far as conversion kits go, the Black Storm is probably the best conversion kit. So it, it definitely is a really good upgrade to the AK. It doesn't look quite one-to-one -one as much as I would want it here, which is why I don't really love doing this conversion because it is still a bit of a stretch, but it still is fun to uh, look at it because it, it, there are a lot of similarities. Um, this it, Really, the Maliuk kind of... Um, the black the early Black Storms and the Vulcan kind of walked so the Maliuk could run. So the Black Storm 4 is the newest iteration of the Black Storm AK conversion kits, and... It offers a lot of the same benefits that the Meliak does. So the Black Storm 4 is a tactical kit. Simplifies the concept of combat with limited space. Again, you're, you're, you're shortening up the overall length of the weapon, turning it into a bullpup. It's intended for installation on Carbine's AK series, AK-47, AK AKM, AKMS, AK-74, AKS-74. Um, all those full-length Carbines, except obviously not the AKS-74U, things like that. The conversion kit enhances tactical and technical characteristics of the Carbine without invading the design of the weapon. Installing the bullpup conversion kit on this weapon turns a simple AK into a modern competitive assault rifle, keeping all benefits of the base AK. The carbine can be easily brought back to the original AK form also um, by taking off the, the bullpup kit and putting on the original parts. So you're not, you're not like breaking down the weapon to a point where you can't repair it to install this kit. Um, now, what are the differences with the Blackstorm 4 versus predecessors? Now, uh, your Kolesnikov can be cocked from the left-hand side here with the BS4. So, where we see the the uh, cock and charging handle there on the left-hand side on this weapon, which is the Maliak, really in real life, the charging handle would be more on the lower front end of the handguard. So, it would be in a little bit of a different area than we see it here in-game. Um, you can also um, shoot and reload one-handed if you need to. Um, and quickly change the magazine by installing, uh, using your right thumb to use the reset button, and you can install different kits, uh, again, to make the magazine uh, ejection easier as well as uh, loading the magazine. So 
Um, there's several expanded functions of this weapon. It modernizes the old tactical obsolete weapon and turns it into a modern weapon. The weapon can easily be held with one hand and gives you maneuverability and superiority over the enemy. Now you can quickly intercept uh, weapons with the other hand. You can also use a sidearm with your other hand if you need to. Uh, you can also easily camouflage your conversion kit um, with camos, tapes, things like that. So it's a really cool weapon. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I've all, whenever I originally saw the Black Storm, I think it was like a BS2 back in the day. Just a really cool design. And again, the handguard that they do with this with this integral suppressed barrel is really, really nice. Uh, definitely very close to what we see with the real life version. But let me know your thoughts down below. Again, this conversion itself is a bit of a stretch, but it is still really cool to pretend it's it's the real thing. I, I'm a... Uh, Definitely a big fan of this weapon overall. I, I really have always loved the Blackstorm 4s and just Blackstorm conversions in general. So it, I think it's really cool. So I had, to, I had to give it a try here with this conversion. So let me know your thoughts down below. Again, memberships are live here on the channel. We have seven members here on the channel. Um, so big shout out to those guys. Three different tiers. We have K-Dog 350, Striking Storm, Man Named Nobody, Aiden Flores, This Justin, FPS Cannon Fodder, and Noodley Boy. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Black Storm 4 conversion kit for the AK Bullpups. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out. Changing Max! Reloading!